Sound wave is simply a pressure variant. Sound waves move the air because the vibrating source produces regular oscillation. Oscillation, noun. The movement back and forth at a regular speed. In the air. The air molecules collide transmitting the pressure variance away from the source of the sound, like this. Air pressure varies but oscillates in about an average value. The frequency is the number of oscillations in each second. When two waves meet, there can be two kinds of interference patterns, constructive and destructive. Constructive interference is when waveforms add together and gets a louder sound. Destructive, however, is when two wavelengths form and they cancel each other out. The wavelength is the distance between the successive regions of high and lower pressure. Because the motion of the air is parallel to the motion of the wave, sound is longitudinal. Sound speed depends on the temperature of the air. At 20 degrees Celsius, or room temperature, sound moves at 343 meters per second. But here in cold Michigan, it will move a little bit slower because the air is colder and vice versa in, say, California, where it's always summer. The speed is greater in solids and liquids than in gases, and sound doesn't really work in space because there's no particles to move around. Sound bounces off a of hard objects and creates... Echoes, echoes. Wavelength and frequency are related to velocity through the equation V equals W times F. Let's try a sample problem. A tuned fork produces a sound wave in the air of a frequency of 26.16 hertz. And at room temperature, the velocity of the sound is at 343 meters per second. How do we find the wavelength? W. So, with a formula that we just used, well, you just found out about, V equals W times F, we're going to rearrange that to find the wavelength. So, wavelength equals velocity over frequency. So, now let's plug in our givens. W equals 343 over 261.6. So, our wavelength will equal 1.31 meters. Leonardo da Vinci discovered that sound travels in waves. Martin Merson was the first scientist to measure the speed of sound, and Robert Boyle discovered that a medium is what a sound wave travels in. It's time for the sound fun fact lightning round. Did you know our eardrums vibrate in a similar way to the original source of the vibration allowing us to hear many different sounds? Dogs, however, can hear sound at a frequency higher than humans, allowing them to hear noises that we can't. Sound is used by animals to detect danger, warning them of possible attackers before they approach. The speed of sound is around 767 miles per hour. The loud noise you create by cracking a whip occurs because the tip is moving so fast it breaks the speed of sound. When traveling through water, sound moves around four times faster than when it travels through air. The scientific study of sound waves is known as acoustics. Although music can be hard to define, it is often described as a pleasing or meaningful arrangement of sounds. The sound of thunder is produced by rapidly heating the air surrounding the lightning, which expands faster than the speed of sound. Okay, now let's talk about music.
Of mind. That's what the Asian said I needed to find. Intervention was his religion, and I was surprised. Him believing in Buddha, me believing in God. Asked me what am I doing? He said, taking my time. Meditation is a must, it don't hurt if you try. Run old boats, see us through a jukebox needle at the honky tonk. Where the boots stomp. All night. What? That's right. Well, now what they call work is digging in the so, dirt. Got it. What do all these things have in common? Let's find out. Music is made from sound waves. It is the art of sound. Music is produced from sound waves and is the characteristics of it all put together. The varieties of tones and pitch that music has depends on the sound wave and how the sound was produced. Music can be a beautiful thing or an awful thing. If the sound wave is higher frequency, the sound in the music will have a higher pitch. So to answer your question, or my question, I should... Thing. Um, mu uh, these things are similar because all music is just sound waves. That's all it is. Whether you like it or not, that's up to you. That's a whole nother topic for a whole nother project. But music itself, it's all sound waves. It's all the same in a technical sense. Ready? Yeah. My name is Cameron Sanders, and I'm going to teach you about science. How is sound, how is sound produced? Sound is produced through the vibrations in the air. The sound wave is simply a pressure variant. Sound waves move through the air because the vibrating source produces Irregular <laughs> oscillations. Letter V.